What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to Mercury Farms and welcome to what could possibly be the last, if not one of the last betas that we get from Jim before everything goes out for Giants testing. Now, we are in new farmer mode today, so if you're in any of the other two modes when you jump in, obviously things will be different. So we are going to be basing on new farmer mode only today. That way you can kind of see what everything is, obviously. If you start in the other too much, you get nothing except some money. So this is your house, uh, located the same area that it was in, except for the birds. <laughs> same area that it was on 17. We get a building over here, very, very nice. He's added some detail inside, which is really cool. And of course you can open both of the doors. Bam, 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 awesome. Over here you will find the Fiat, right where it belongs in the corner. Where in the grass out of the way i'm kidding i'm kidding i just not a fan of this tractor it is what it is nothing i can do about that so there you go you get one of those you also have seed fertilizer lime uh you got it all here herbicide you can buy everything you need in these two now these are placeables so if you don't like where they are you could delete them and place them somewhere else you will have to uh you will have to pay a little bit extra but there's nothing wrong with that now let's run over here. We get another building very similar to the other one. Actually, as a matter of fact, it's just the same with the exception of the decorations. Decorations, little, uh, little varied nonetheless. And uh, right now we are starting with a Rossum Ash Harvester. Very cool, very cool. I like it. Everything is dirty, by the way. Everything's dirty. Everything needs cleaning. Now we also have a Case Puma with front loader and a shovel and here's your tipper again some of these things may change but it's probably a good chance they're going to stay this is your silo right here you will have to open it and this is a drive-through silo so open that up boom you go through there drop off your stuff and then right here this is where you're going to pick it up from so that is your main farm area now what comes with the main farm let's go into buy land this is the area the plot of land that comes with it you get filled 10 and you get the main farmyard that is it so keep that in mind also tells you exactly where your silo is and tells you where your house is which is really cool you do not get filled 23 so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that completely so that is our main farm now there's a couple other farms around and we will get to those as we get to those uh, we're going to take a look around we're going to go uh, in a clockwise motion and we will end at well i say clockwise motion we're, we're gonna we'll turn left a little bit we have a new area brand new area over here this is the spinnery and sweet potato where you can sell things that well you can guess this is where you're going to sell your wool and all of your uh, cotton, which is great. Up here, we have sweet potato sales, which is really cool. Nice little drive through and around area. So sweet potato, what can we sell there? Well, we can sell potatoes. We can sell sugar beets, sugar cane, and that is it. Nothing else will sell there. So very, very cool. I like this area. I'm glad he added this. And said, yeah, it's a nice little area. Now we're going to go left. Boom. You do have another uh, another farm type area here on the left if you choose to do so. So we can go in. Bam, bam, bam. Hit that. And you can buy this area. Comes with field 22 and all the area around the garden center. So if you wanted to buy that, you could. You already have a building placed there, which is very, very cool. Awesome, awesome. Now, moving up to our left here. Things kind of catching up with us. Yeah. So this is the garden center. Um, if you know Jim's maps, you know that a lot is based on... Ooh, <laughs> that does not look good on the front of this. Yikes. Let's pull back out. Oof, everything's catching up. Ha <laughs> ha! Here is a new area that Jim has helped us out with greatly. Uh, you cannot sell wood here anymore. Keep that in mind. No more wood sales. Uh, you got manure sales, and you've got slurry sales right there. 
No more wood chips, no more wool, and no more bells here. Keep that in mind. Uh, of course, we have our fuel cell point right there. And then we have our primary grain cells right here. Of course, we got to get that content saved. So we are at the garden center. is the very top of the garden center. You can do pretty much anything. Wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beets. Uh, it still says those things right there. And I think there's a reason why. Of course, milk, wood chips, all that stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, over here we have Straw Barn. Now, a couple things that have to be changed, of course. Here we go. We've got Straw Barn. We can buy and sell grass, hay, and straw here. So those are your sell points. And, of course, you can sell all your bells right here. Uh, this acts as a barn. Basically, keep that in mind, that acts as barn, because it is straw barn. And then through here, you can buy grass, buy hay, and buy straw. My understanding is all of the prices on these have been dropped by half. Uh, so it's not like a you know, you're know you losing a quarter of the money anymore. Uh, very, very good. Very, very nice. And we're throwing things again. What is wrong with us? Backing out of here. We've got a new area, brand new, well, as well as this one is, brand new for Farming Simulator 19. Going up through here. Now, this isn't new. However, it is back, which is nice. You guys probably saw us trying to test this a couple days ago. Uh, we have manure, which you can sell here. You can also sell water, which is really cool. I couldn't tell you how profitable that's going to be because some prices will change on things and some things Jim just doesn't have control over. So giants could do whatever with, basically. Here we have, oh yeah, this is your first look at the sawmill. You're going to find this on the bottom right hand corner of the map. So here's where you're going to sell your wood. Come up here, hit that left stick to sell everything. There's your wood chips. And he's kind of got it looking like it is a working it's a working sawmill exactly what it is got wood hanging out got a nice little barn right here and uh and then pallets right here of wood which is really really cool jim you've done a fantastic job and just like i thought he would he's added some trees around here as well may add more may take some away there's just no telling so pulling out of here let's jump back into <laughs> I wish we could turn the wipers on. That is disgusting. Yeah, yeah. So our next trip is going to be down at the animal stores. So that is going to be at the... Actually, no. We have another We have another spot. I totally forgot about. Spar Shop is back. That is correct. Spar Shop is back. You guys remember the, uh, the gunshots? Well, that is kind of around the area where they originated which is really really cool so we're going to come out of the garden center we're going to hang a left and hope that nobody is coming flying out of here boom uh one note or one area to note is the water down there you can buy water there and of course you've got this nice area right here that jim added for us beautiful beautiful area i love it i love it i love it so let's turn in here we're going to go straight through this little uh little apartment complex type thing if you go look in the windows you can see it's almost a 3d kind of look and it really is a 3d because the pictures and everything they're inside jim's done a really good job with that here we are at spar shop let's see what we can sell here so we've got milk and eggs and i do believe that is it i do believe that that is everything that we can sell at spar shop yep that is correct so you'd come out here back in with your uh, milk container or drop your eggs right here there you go that is where you do your milk and eggs next place now we're heading over to the livestock market animal dealer uh, i just call it animal stores it's just uh, my thing so that's going to be taking a left out of there and going directly straight you're going to see those smokestacks off in the distance that means you are heading in the right direction you are correct oh yeah let's find this Let's hang a right. Now, remember, if you go forward, you're going to stop. Bam. <laughs> uh, there are ways in and out of there, and I'm sure that you can figure that out on your own. Uh, here you've got cell points, and it looks like for now he's taken the manure buy point away. Or moved it. Yep, 
appears that he has moved it to right there very cool very neat and then here's where you can sell things this basically acts as another barn uh, this is also where you get animals from so you can go through here click in here you can buy animals we also have some to my uh, animal places that we can buy from as well very cool very cool thank you jim awesome oh and there's a gold nugget don't worry about the gold nugget you you'll never get it <laughs> good luck how about how about this if you guys uh, when this map comes out for the public uh make sure you go over there try and get that gold nugget if you can let me know show send me a video or something of you guys catching that because i would love to see it our next stop is going to be on the left right here we're going to take this and we're going to fly up through here because we are heading to the animal farm this is where you're going to find your sheep you're going to find your cows and your pigs here now you probably know that in farming simulator 19 you have to place down your own animal pins well not when Jim's around. You guys know Jim is awesome and he takes care of the community greatly all the time. So this area is full of life, ready for us. So, taking a roundabout, we have a nice shed here with four bays in it. You could probably fit eight plus tractors in there, maybe more, all kinds of good stuff. You have your feeding area here for the cows. This is the cow area. So what you want to do for these is come in here, open up, Go straight in, and that is going to be your buy point. And then this is where your straw goes. If you guys want milk, come in here, and this is where you get your milk from. Nice. That is... Oh, don't throw it. <laughs> that is your cow area. And then on the other side, you have where you get your slurry and your manure. Now, the manure point is a little bit smaller, so make sure you guys clean them out regularly. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. This is your sheep. You see where you put the water, where the food, if you want to buy them, bam, right here. Go directly in, that's where you can buy your sheep. Now on the right hand side right here, this is going to be where your wool spawns. Now, of course you're not going to start with wool, but that's where it spawns. And there's a door in between, in case you want to open it up, which is awesome. Great job, Jim. In the middle, we do get a place for doing silo work. So if you guys want to do some chaff, silage, all that good stuff, that's going to go right there. And directly in front of us, we've got the pig area. You got food and water at the very front. Jim's done a great job get, making all that extremely accessible for us. Open the door, go directly in, just like the other two, bam. You can buy your pigs. We have straw right here, which is great. And of course, pigs get to play around. If you remember in 17, this area was all the way to the back. Well, now it is blocked in because you can place these. And that would just be massive to place it. It would just be incredible. Uh, again, manure and slurry. Make sure you guys clean them out regularly. Uh, I would say if you've got, what, um, 200, 300 pigs, something like that. Can't remember how many this holds. We'll go back and take a look at that. But however many this holds, um, you know how fast pigs get manure. So clean them out regularly you'll be just fine it's not gonna you know climb to the <laughs> climb to the sky this is another silo just like we had at the main farm it is a drive-through silo so you've got that right there bam 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 doors at the front and the back this is where you're going to drop your grain and then back here he's talking about having a tractor i don't know if it's going to be leased or owned but he's going to have a smaller tractor with a stump grinder now what happens with the stump grinder let's jump in here and let's boom out now I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna turn on the stump grinder that stump as soon as it disappears BAM all of the stuff disappears all of the junk all of the stuff <laughs> how many times can I say stuff but all the stuff that was here now is not so you don't have to worry about it anymore now you can uh, we can plow this area up if you wanted to do two pig pens you probably could fit two of them in here you've got a lot of room to do things in this area and of course the middle area same thing if you guys see stumps that look just like that you can come in stump grind them up for example this stump right here this stuff will disappear and i'll uh, see stuff over here as well now this is really cool this is something specific to alien gym maps what we need is we need a chainsaw. We're gonna get a Husqvarna, and we're gonna take off. Oh, 
we're just going to take off the top here. Just, just a little bit. Just the top. Bam. Now, this fence has disappeared. Why has that fence disappeared? Well, if we jump on the top, there's a little green dot right in the center at the top of the post. Now, when you cut off the top of these, whichever direction that is pointing, that area of fence will disappear. Keep that in mind. And then, of course, if you wanted to, you can just take off the entire thing. Bam, bam, bam. Boom. Now we can take that, chunk it. And now we've got fence going over, but no post. Well, how do you do that? Well, same here. If you can see, oh, did not jump correctly. Right here, we've got everything. We've got a little, uh, little green dot. And if we cut the top of this stump, this area will disappear. So you could cut around all this, flatten it all out. You can delete this, uh, this silo. So if we were to go into silos and uh, or owned all the way to the right, bunker silo, sell, bam. Now that silo is gone. You can still buy it though. Jim has done an awesome job at letting us buy the things that he himself has placed and made for this map. So every building that you see is a mod linked to this map, which is awesome. And there are a few more in there as well. So that is that area. Uh, there is one area that we uh, wouldn't say we missed it. We're going to run down and check it out real quick. This is your farm. Uh, it's another farm area over by the animal market and spa shop. Uh, this is just a, a separate area. If you want to come in here, build whatever you want, use it for yourself. I don't think that you own the field. Nope, you don't own it. But if you wanted to buy it, it's 48000 And you could use this home as your main base. Well, not that one. That one's a placeable just for just for looks. But you can delete it and then put your own home there. And of course, we have all the rest of the stuff here. So that's pretty cool. Now we are at the animal farm. Sweet. Bam. Next place we're going to check out. We are going to go up. Right now we are at the top left-hand corner of the map. We're going to go up and head towards Windmill Hill. Now Windmill Hill and Poultry Farm, uh, Mercury Poultry Farm, they both have two things up there that are of importance to us we have a cell point and we have the chicken farm now the chicken farm comes stock with three of jim's custom made chicken uh, pens chicken houses chicken pens great windmills awesome windmill sounds up here we have a cell point for stuff i believe the chicken feed in the back is uh yep it's <laughs> selling a little bit nine dollars there you go so windmill hill that is going to be at the very bottom. Let's check out what we can sell here. We can sell wheat, barley, sunflowers, corn, and I believe that's it. Yes, that is it. So you can't buy and or can't sell everything up here, but it's close by. If you have something that you can sell, boom, you can. Mercury Poultry Farm. Here we go. Three chicken areas, all removable if you really want to. A placeable home. We've got a shed here, placeable shed, open here up, bam. We've got lights on every shed. Jim's done a fantastic job. Thank you very much for that. And a really big shed. So if you wanted to buy a couple of these big square fields up here, use them as uh, chaff fields, whatever, something like that. That is very doable. So you do start with three of these. And you know what? Because we've got some premium chicken feed, Oh, that's right. It won't take it, will it? Because we are uh, we don't have any chickens. That stinks. Maybe if we were to buy just one chicken. Confirm. There we go. Now we've unlocked it. And the food is going. If you guys didn't know, you can put food pallets on the back of well, any vehicle. And it will drop them out. There we go. So now we bought a chicken. The chicken is well fed. <laughs> Let's go over to animals real quick. There you go, that one chicken's got a whole lot of food. So if you want to, you start with a thousand liters of wheat slash chicken food. You can use that. Go for it. I say go for it. Get some chickens, get some eggs. Quick, easy way to make some money. Our next stop is going to be the BGA. Got two more stops and we're all done over here. Yeah. Head over to the BGA. We're just going straight across. No look, no look, no cop, <laughs> no cop, no stop. We do have a working weight area, which is sweet. 
We've got a couple more sheds. These are just like the ones at the main farm. Different color, different layout. Well, not different layout, just different color. So you can come in again. These have the lights. Bam. There you go. Great. We've got one of those there. So this is the silo building. However, it is not a silo. This version can just be used as a barn. So if you've got your stuff for doing uh, silage, for doing chaff, all that good stuff, take it over there. Perfect. Over here you have your bunkers, three or two huge bunkers. I imagine that Lunatic Com and uh, the Farmers Crew, uh, Cowboy and uh, Necro and Bodies, I'm sure those guys are going to get in here and show us how it's done. Uh, that is massive, massive, massive. And then, of course, right here, uh, this is where you dump everything. It is on the ground, so you don't have to get anything up high. You don't have to run huge, huge belt systems in the air. It's all on the ground. Jim's done a, again, I say it, Jim's done a great job for us. And then over here, ooh, that's nasty. Icky, icky, icky. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So that is your BGA. Now we've got, uh, what is it, one more stop to go. Ooh, hitting stuff already. Hey, we weigh the same going out as we did going in. Nice. Let's go ahead and uh, take those off. Those look awful. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, when you start, every vehicle will need to be repaired. So you're going to be spending a little bit of money when you start. But fortunately, we start with a whole lot of money. So I think we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> here is your store area. Pulling in right here. This is a great area. I mean, it's it's a store. There's there's not a whole lot to it. He's added some people walking around. Uh, this does work right here. So if you want to pull forward and raise it up, you can. Uh, in 17, you had to pull forward all the way so that when it lowered down, it wouldn't fall. Or that it would fall, rather. I'm not sure if it's the same here. Yep, same here. So when you pull in, there's going to be a little force field at the end. Pull all the way forward. But the good thing... Just come right here. You can work on your truck. Okay? When it's in the air. Boom, boom, boom. Come in here. You can work on your truck. It doesn't matter if it's up or down. You can work on it. And, as if that wasn't enough, we've got another area here. So let's say your vehicle is just too large to get in there. Get it close because <laughs> we've got an entire area on the back another place right beside to do the exact same stuff uh, you ask why do two well when you go into a uh, place they've got more than one yeah there you go <laughs> so he's just giving you options you can choose the way you want to do it Jim's his thing is he lets you farm the way you want to farm he gives you the tools to farm the way you want to farm and to play the game the way you want to play it at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's a game. And we are enjoying playing it, and we are having a great time. So as far as I'm aware, <laughs> that is it for Mercury Farms. Oh, yeah, that's not it. He's going to he's gonna fry me if I don't show you guys. So, oh yeah, and there are stumps all around that can be cut. Oh, we're on the wrong side of the road. There's one more farm I totally forgot about. Hill, uh, the hillside farm, I believe it is, right here. Oh, yep, right here on the left, we've got hillside farm. Swing. This is another farm area. You could do whatever you want to. You can, well, literally do whatever you want to in here. Just like, uh, just like the farm area down by the animal market. You can come in here. You have a placeable home. You can pull this up. Place a uh, home down if you want. We've got buildings here. Open it up. We have seed and fertilizer if you're close by. This is a variation of your silo. So this is one that you have to back into. Again, more lights. Great. And we got lights outside even. Look at that. And that is where your silo is right there. Bam. That is Mercury Farms. <laughs> there's a whole, I mean, there's a whole lot to this map and believe it or not it's pretty darn small so if you're looking at the map you can see there's a dark uh of course i gotta save our activity here there is a dark green area around the map this is a 2x map there's a dark area around the map like that's mercury farms 
in the middle, even smaller than your base 2x map. It's it's just in there. So it's even smaller than you would think it is. But it has all this stuff crammed into it. It's awesome. Not to mention the file size. I'm not sure what the final file size is going to be. I do know that right now, sitting, uh, believe it or not, file size is actually smaller than it was for 17. With added equipment. With added stuff. Which is... I just don't know how he does it. Jim, you're a magician. I love you, brother. So, guys, that is going to be it from Mercury Farms. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you didn't, make sure you hit dislike and get all this dirt off of the front of the truck. Oh, man, if you guys want to see more like this, let me know down in the comments section. Hit subscribe. Make sure you turn that bell on so you know when I'm releasing videos and live streams and all kinds of good content. But, that being said... Hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.